Today we're gonna play Made in Abyss Binary Star Falling into Darkness. So this is an action RPG and it looks very cute. It looks very cute, but it has a very dark story. It is actually rated mature. So I think this sounds really interesting and I am so ready to try this game out. Let's check the options before we start. So, you can put the game in English voices. Oh, that is nice. It also has Japanese and... Oh, oh, this is probably Japanese. Yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> I want to understand what's going on. We are going to go with English voice and English text. And I guess everything else is fine. We can change all the controls here. But I'm gonna leave it the way it is, it's probably fine. And uh, sound options. Okay, okay, yeah, it all looked good. So let's start. So, yeah, this game has two stories. So, this first one called Hello Abyss, it is the story of the anime. There is an anime of this game. So you don't need to watch the anime, you can just play it here. So that's nice. And here this other one is a new story to the game. And this one we can't play yet, we have to finish Hello Abyss before we play Deep in Abyss. Alright. Oh wow, this looks really good. 1,900 years ago. Oh, that's a long huge ago. pit was discovered on a remote island in the southern sea of Beluska. With a diameter of around a thousand meters, its depth remains unknown. To this day, no one has ever seen the bottom of the Great Pit. In a world where nearly everything has been uncovered and explored, it is the sole remaining unconquered castle. The Great Pit has a captivating power that sometimes takes hold of a person and refuses to let go. Valuable and dangerous primeval creatures. Mysterious relics beyond comprehension. A city of gold set to rest in the far reaches of the Netherworld. For the past 1,900 years, all of these things and more have been luring people to venture into its depths. With a spirit of adventure for the unknown and countless legends luring them on, the Abyss has swallowed up enough lives to be worthy of its name. The peculiar force field in the Abyss prevents its observation from above ground. Therefore, surveying is carried out in person. The surveyors, each chasing the dream of striking it rich, would deliver their reports to the surface from deep inside the Abyss by launching mail balloons. Those who challenged the giant pit began to be referred to as cave raiders. Right around the time that name stuck, their bases on the surface grew so large they surrounded the entire circumference of the pit. The city they eventually formed in time became Orth, the place people call home. Oh wow, we're sitting on the wall. <laughs> Okay, we can press auto here, so I'm gonna do that. That's yeah. how future generations will pass down the story about today's cave reading. This again. There she goes. That's right! It's already begun! The adventures of the legendary cave reader, Rico! No, no, no. It's a bit much to call yourself a legendary cave raider when you're just a red whistle. Huh? Are you sure about that? All the white whistles started as red whistles. So why would it be weird for me to be a legendary cave raider? White whistles are admirable. I mean, they're the heroes of the country. But admiring them isn't exactly the same as wanting to be one. Huh? Why not? They don't have any death limit, you know. They're truly the best of the best among us cave raiders! It's a 
bit too much for me. But you want to be a white whistle, right? Yep. From the moment I made a white whistle, I'll go all out. And make a ton of legends! Um, for today's cave writing, we get to go deeper, right? And then, deeper in the next one. I keep on doing that. It's just a matter of time before I become a white whistle. A matter of time? Setting that white whistle stuff aside, I just want to hurry up and become a blue whistle. And then my goal is to become a moon whistle. Uh-huh. When you're a moon whistle, you are, of course, going to aim to become a black whistle, right? Well, most likely, I won't try to become a black whistle. What? But if you don't become a black whistle, you can't become a white whistle, the highest rank! It's okay. Rather than be a black whistle, I have something else I want to do. Something you want to do? Hey, you three. Are you guys even listening? Ah! Oh. <laughs> well, were you listening? Uh, of course! I was really listening. Oh, then in that case, come over here, Rico. <laughs> Oh, we can move. We can move. Can we only walk? Oh, we can run. We can hold the L1 button to run. Okay, okay. So it seems like there are so many different ranks, and we are probably the lowest one, the red whistle. So maybe we can become a white whistle in this game. I hope we can. And is there a main menu? Here, I found it. Oh, you can check your status and change equipment here. Increase your stats with clothing and accessories and weapons can be equipped with the item ring. Oh. And items. We actually have a lot of items already. Uh, fishing pole. That's a lot of things. And food. A bomb. A giant rice ball <laughs> made by Rico. It is rustically seasoned with salt and supera. Seaweed from pork. Oh! So you can eat this. It's not actually a bomb. <laughs> it's just the name of it. Um, oh, this is for fishing. Fishing bait. Okay. Bandage. Monocular. Alright. You can craft items in this screen by using materials. You can create weapons, consumables, and even food. Oh wow, there is actually a lot of recipes here. <laughs> it just keeps going! Oh, all this food though. Uh, some of them look very yummy. I don't think this looks yummy, but... <laughs> Some of them look pretty yummy, right? I mean, the rice balls. Oh, wow. A fish fin. A demon fish meat. Oh. These look pretty yummy. Yeah, yeah. It's a monster meat, most of them. <laughs> If you were really listening to me, you should be able to answer my question. Oh. Yes. Well then, answer me. Why is it that cave raiders who venture in the abyss never return home? Can she answer that? Oh, I have to answer. Uh, probably the curse of the abyss? I don't know. <laughs> because on the return trip, they get affected by the curse of the abyss. That is correct. We oh, it was correct. Oh, abyss. yeah. Time, oh, yeah. <laughs> as long as we are human, there is no way to escape the curse of the abyss. During the return trip from the abyss, a cave raider experiences intense afflictions to their body. These are called strains. This mysterious phenomenon of unknown origin is also called the curse of the abyss. The strains become more and more severe the deeper down you go. Strains encountered while ascending from the depth's first layer to the surface are mild dizziness and nausea. 
From the second layer to the first layer are intense nausea, headaches, and numbness of the extremities. From the third layer, in addition to the other effects, complications include losing your sense of balance as well as visual and auditory hallucinations. Oh! From the fourth layer, intense pain throughout the body and bleeding from every orifice. Well, that sounds really bad. From the fifth layer, the loss of all senses, resulting in confusion and self-harm. Oh! Returning from the sixth layer means the loss of your humanity, or even death. Wow. <laughs> the strain of ascending from the seventh layer is certain death. Oh no. Oh no, we don't want to go there. <laughs> but don't worry. You guys, the red whistles, will descend up to 400 meters. In other words, you'll still be within the depths of the first layer. Okay. The strains you'll okay. feel are mild dizziness and nausea. You won't feel much after you acclimate to them. All right. Regarding our upcoming cave raiding, I've divided the area up and assigned everyone a spot. You're unlikely to face much danger from primeval creatures and falling, but just in case, don't forget to pack your whistles and smoke screens. That's all. Any questions? Very well. I have something to say, too. <clears throat> There's just one thing I want to say. Those with whistles shouldn't think they're going out there simply to learn. Be mindful that you are students of the guild's orphanage. Strive to earn as much as you can. Do not shame your parents who fell so nobly. Oh, there is one more thing. That makes two things. That makes two things. That's two things. Everyone said the same. Self to relics is strictly forbidden. Relics provide valuable income to the orphanage. So pocketing them is inexcusable. No matter the punishment, I don't want to hear any complaints. She knows it was me. Oh, she did it. The star compass, the steel umbrella. Or Next time, the culprit will suffer more than simply being strung up naked. Keep that in mind. Oh, she doesn't know. <sighs> hmm. What's that? Uh, it's I will personally go over each of your goals this mission. Whenever you are ready, come see me to hear your mission. Okay, okay. I guess I am ready. What do we have to do? Alright. Today you will be cave raiding solo at about the same spot as last time, from 150 meters. <laughs> yes, Rico? What is it? Uh, please assign me someplace deeper! Oh, uh, really? Really? <laughs> you wanna go deeper? <sighs> It, it sounded so horrible, though. That's a brazen request. Tell me, why exactly does one go cave raiding? Oh, because there's a pit up there? No, it's because it's your job. This kind of thing is why you're still wetting the bed. To begin with, if you were to go down 400 meters with your current level of experience, simply heading back up again would be all you could handle. You're used to the spot I've assigned you. That should allow you to cave raid more efficiently. Am I wrong? Well... I want to quickly build up experience at deeper depths! To become a white whistle as soon as I can! And then... I want to catch up to my mother! I'll descend down as far as she did, and then... Not this time. But... Alright. Let's see just how determined you are. If your hole at tomorrow's cave raid is assessed to be the most valuable among all the red whistles, then I'll consider it for next time. Oh, understood. Well then, investigate the assigned area and bring back ten relics. Okay, so we need to bring back ten relics. Okay. We're gonna do that. Yes. Okay, let's go. 
You can save in your room by approaching the books. Okay, I guess we should do that. So, here's a menu. We can go to different rooms. The classroom. I guess my camera is actually in the way a little bit. Alright, there we go. That's better. So, should we go through all the rooms? Director's office. Let's check them out. Oh, this is just a small room. But there is nothing we can do here yet. Okay, we're gonna leave. Um, she gives a room. There is a boy sitting here. Rico cave raiding. Lucky. You'll get bigger and bigger, Kiwi. Soon you'll be able to go cave raiding. For now, please watch our home. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, he's so cute. So, Rico's room. This is our room. So we can probably save here then. Let's see. We have a... What is this chair? <laughs> what is going up there? Some cables? Big bed. Oh, this is where we can save, yeah. I'm gonna save. Alright. But there was also an uh, auto save, so that's good. And here we need to go to the town where our cave raiders live. The Oort. Oh, so here we can choose where to go. The abyss. Okay, we're gonna go. Let's do this and embark. Okay, let's do this. Um, how do we attack? Here, we can choose our weapons. Yeah, we don't want a fishing pole, I think. Not here. <laughs> Does monocular? Oh, we can look around with this. Uh, I guess the pickaxe is what we need, maybe. Change the item to be used by moving. Okay, I yeah, did this. <laughs> I just did this. Stamina is used for dashing and attacking and other actions. You cannot perform some actions when you don't have enough stamina. Ah, uh, wait. Let's try the pickaxe. The pickaxe swings slowly but deals high damage. Attacking will cause stamina to be used. Okay. You can't attack the wall. <laughs> we need to find something to mine. Oh, here is something. Here you can harvest plants growing within the abyss. You can also harvest fruits growing on trees. Alright. We got some leaf. You can climb or descend down certain ledges and walls. Increase your climb skill to move along the wall faster. Oh! When moving on a wall, stamina will not regenerate. You can recover stamina by eating food. Okay, should we go down here? Um, let's look around a little bit first. Uh, there's some more we can pick up or gather. Oh, there's a lot. Can we cook maybe with these things? Um, there's enemies! There are many primeval creatures living in the abyss. Sometimes it is crucial to run away from particularly dangerous ones. Are these dangerous though? They don't look so dangerous, but maybe they are. Uh, they can also be baited with food, and smoke signals can be used to avoid detection. Press and hold L2 to lock onto a nearby enemy. Okay. Okay. Should we try to kill them? Can I do it with the pickaxe? <gasps> oh! Oh! Yes! Okay, I did it! 
You can approach, defeat and primeval creatures to dismantle them, obtaining food ingredients or other materials by doing so. Um, yeah, let's do that. Can we cook? Soft meat? We can probably use that to cook, right? Should I check? Uh, bug meat, bird egg, teal meat. Soft meat here, soft cooked meat. I guess we could make it. Yeah, let's do it. But here it is. We don't need to eat yet. We do have full health still, so not gonna eat it yet. So there is something there on the map. Uh, is it below me, maybe? Oh, here! You can excavate precious minerals within the abyss at mines. Here you will find items such as relics and materials. Oh, relics! That's what we need to collect. Ten relics. Sun sphere. So I guess that's what we gotta collect here. Uh, here's another one. Sun sphere. Oh! Oh! <laughs> We're climbing! Oh, that's right, we could do that. <gasps> but I don't know if we need to go back up, actually. We probably need to go down here. There's another uh, item here on the map. Here? Oh, damn! Okay, let's do it. Oh, yeah. And more. It's all the way down there. Should I go? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay, we're going down. Yeah, don't fall down. That would be bad. <gasps> oh. It looks like there's some eggs here. Broken mail balloon. Oh. That looked like an egg to me, but it was not. So. I guess let's go further down. Oh, the wall! Oh my god, look, the wall is disappearing. <laughs> Creepy. Aye, aye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> Can we go this way? Okay, we could. That was just a glitch. So, oh. okay, we're going down. There's another one. How many have we collected now? Is this five? Maybe six? Oh, quickly press L1 twice to dodge. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, ah! Wait, oh, I'm stuck here, I need to attack. What am I doing? Ah, pickaxe, <laughs> Oh my god, I thought I would die there. That looks so dangerous. <laughs> so we can dodge. Okay, yeah, good. That's good. Um, another sun sphere. So, does it say here how many I've collected? Oh, uh, here is the map. Uh, you can place stickers on the map to note rare items and dangerous enemies. They will be reset once you move back to Earth. Okay, okay. So... I don't really understand the map. Where did we come from? Here? Have we gone all this way already? I'm not really sure. Or was... Oh, uh, maybe this is where we came from. Yeah, this is where we came from. So it looks like we can go to a new area here, so I'm gonna do that. So we've collected 5 out of 10, it says here, okay. So 5 more we need. And this way there should be more of them. This is a map movement, movement, oh my god I can't speak. This is a map movement point. Areas that have been traveled to before will have their map names displayed. 
when traveling health and fullness will be reduced according to the difference in depth if you do not have enough of an eater you will not be able to travel okay waterfall gondola oh it looks pretty nice here So here's another one. Uh, oh, there we go. What is there in the middle? Some enemy? Can I kill it? Ah! I don't know. Did it die? I think it did. Okay, maybe I should be a little bit more careful. Should I eat this uh, food that I cooked earlier? Let's see, was it here? Uh, soft cook cooked meat, yeah, that's it. Press triangle to eat. Oh, there we go. It didn't heal too much, but a little bit. Up here is another one. And then we still need is it three more, I think. Oh wait, what am I doing? Sneaking. Oh, we can do that too. I didn't <laughs> notice that. Oh, what is this? Any ascension triggers the curse of the abyss. More serious trains are encountered the deeper you dive, affecting actions. Okay, what is going on? Are we dying? <gasps> oh no! Oh my god, wow! That one has a <laughs> very long... Uh, what is it called? <laughs> it can aim very far. Um, there! Wait, wait, wait. Here we need to climb. Oh no! So, two more? I don't know about this. This seems really dangerous to go up this way, but. Oh my god, are we dying? I am so scared. <laughs> I'm scared. We seem to be fine again. Okay. Uh, I guess we are going this way. Can we? Oh, nice. A lot of flowers here too. Is this the last one now, or do we still have to collect more? Oh! I guess we did it. Super heavy. Uh, it's super heavy. Oh, yeah. I'll get Nat to help. Hey, Nat! 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 Where are you? Hey, if you're there, Oh, I I don't think we can beat this thing, can we? If your backpack is over capacity, your actions will be limited. Sort out your backpack to make sure you don't go over capacity. Oh my god, what? 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 How? Ah! Can I? Ah! Oh! My arm is bro... Broken? Oh, it's not broken. 
it moves just fine. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> But what about my backpack? Is it left the back there? I... Oh no. I guess we just gotta run away from here. We still have... Wait, we still have our stuff here. Oh no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm, uh, I'm not ready. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. What is happening? Are we gonna die here? <laughs> oh, someone attacked it. That must be someone who's a higher rank than us. That looked like a strong attack. <laughs> Whoa! The petrified trees are melted! I wonder what that light was. Maybe it was all in my head, but I feel like whatever drove that snake away was answering my plea for help. Maybe it was even my own personal knight in shining armor or something. I have to find out what it was. I'll look a little bit further. I have to see it with my own eyes. But can we go back for our backpack now? You will take damage when getting attacked by primeval creatures or falling from high places. Oh, I know that. I know that. <laughs> Use food or healing items to heal lost health. Why did it tell me that just now? I already have been fighting these things. <laughs> so... What is going on? I can't move. Did I get dizzy or something? Oh my god, this thing is attacking. Kill it! <laughs> Alright, we did it. So, yeah, I don't know where my backpack is anymore. Maybe I actually can't get it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh wait, I think my stamina was actually low. That's why we couldn't move there for a while. Yeah, I can see the stamina bar up there. The blue bar. Okay, I guess I, I, I am just... <laughs> I'm gonna go where I'm supposed to go. I, I actually don't know where. You will grow hungry when you take certain actions as time passes. As your hunger increases, it will affect your stamina. Be sure to eat often. Okay. Okay. So, this is where we needed to go. Oh, I'm out of stamina again. No, 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 no. Don't attack me, please. <laughs> Let's go and see. Uh... Why can't I move here? Wait, 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 what, what? There is nothing there, but... Wait, what? There's something invisible here. <laughs> there is something here. And we can't see it. Wow, I wonder what that is. Is it just a glitch in the game or is it actually something? Wait, here too? No, what? What? <laughs> Oh, someone's lying there. Are you okay? A kid? I don't remember there being a kid who looked like this in the Red Whistles. Uh, hello there! Huh? 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 No way! He's not breathing! I have to hurry and resuscitate him! Just a moment ago. What 
fuel does he want on? No food work? I mean, he's built like a human after all. Huh? But still, where did he come from? Oh, did he fall on that tree up there? Ugh. There was some smoke coming from it. I was somewhat able to bring him here, but I can't go any farther. Hey, Rico! Are you okay, Rico? Did that big snake thing come over this way? Matt. Good. I'm glad you're okay. What the heck happened to you? Were you attacked? Uh-huh. But that snake fled down the cliff. I think we're safe now. Okay, that stupid thing trashed almost all the relics that I collected. But I guess maybe that's what saved me from being eaten. Mad. So he absolutely doesn't remember that I saved him. By the way, Rico. What is this? Did you kill him? <laughs> no! <laughs> no? I found him passed out and carried him here, but... It seems he isn't human. What? What? Really? Hey, Nat. Let's take him back together. Help me. What? That's such a troublesome thing to do. First of all, th this kid, who in the world is he? Well, it's kind of a long story. So he is a robot or a relic or something? It's really hard to believe, but he isn't normal for sure. Even though it's you talking, he really is right here in front of us. Why do you always doubt my words? Taking him home means it's a secret from leader, right? Of course. If he is a relic, you would be stealing again, you know. Mm. Wait a minute, Rico. Let me think about it. I gave it some thought. I know you won't stop even if I told you. So in that case, I will help you. But do you think it's okay to move him already? Uh, can you wait a bit? I have to pee? Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, let's carry him. <laughs> I kind of want to choose I have to pee. That sounds so funny. <laughs> I have to pee. Can you wait here? Seriously? Just do what you have to do somewhere else. I'll be here <laughs> watching him. <laughs> Why did I tell him I had to pee? I don't know. I don't know. I, said I was going to see if I missed anything. I can't believe I just said that to a boy. I should take off my wet pants while she's gone. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> also, that just means we could go back and look around. I, I think I just want to leave, actually. I don't know if we need to do anything else. We finished our mission. Yeah. I gave it some thought. I know you want so in that case. But do you think it's... Yeah. Let's carry him. Yeah, let's carry him. Bring him to my room without anyone noticing. I'll hold his hands so... Uh, Nat, can you get his legs? All right. Let's do some research on this robot boy. Oh, oh, we're in the classroom. Okay. Uh, I, I would like to go back and see. Looks like you made Wait. it back safe. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, not bad. We finished the quest, but what happened to our backpack? Wasn't all this stuff in the backpack? Oh, I guess. Yes, Rico? Okay, yeah, let's go to that robot boy. <laughs> I wanna. I wanna see what is going on here. He's sitting on this chair that, that we saw earlier. So, so far, I feel like the story is very interesting. I have not watched the anime, so I don't know anything about the story, but it is 
supposed to be uh, like a dark story that's why it is uh rated mature 17 plus so it is a game for adults even though we are playing as a kid in this game uh yeah i really enjoy it so far but let me know what you guys think of this game i am very interested to know what you guys also think um yeah i'm gonna end it here thank you so much for watching bye